So what's going on toxic gamers today we're talking about the king bbc samurai situation okay the captain bbc samurai situation is it's raging wildfires once again it was raging wildfires and then the fires were seized right because a lot of people got about star wars situation that's raging wildfires then we had the dust mourn situation damn homie 27 people liking the game let's try to not go more than 27 likes let's go for two likes on the video if you think there are two genders Dislike the video if you think they're 5,000 genders, ladies and gentlemen, but uh-oh, let's get into this one. Shout out to the homie Smash JT, rule it. We all knew the numbers for Assassin's Creed Shadows might be a little bit lower than yeah. other Assassin's yeah, Creed yeah. games, just based off of the controversy leading up to the release. But if this rumor from Stutter and Craig is to be believed, holy crap, Ubisoft might as well just close down today. What's going on, guys? <laughs> Welcome to another episode yeah. of Smash JT. Ass I'm currently taking, like, Kung Fu classes, and this man looks like the, one of the teacher that that i have there <laughs> yeah i love this guy man shout out to the homie smash jt man if you're watching this let me show you some kishi baba assassin's creed shadow pre-orders are not doing so hot yeah and on top of that star wars outlaws oh, is man. not so well either <laughs> these are the two games yeah. that ubisoft had put all their marbles yo the, 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 these things are purposely making the gameplay look blurry i mean it's bad i know it's bad but when you look at this gameplay holy crap it's looking worse than PlayStation 2, dog. What were we talking about? I feel like that this is done purposely. Or not necessarily purposely, I believe this is like Twitter compression, but... ...marbles into to ensure success moving forward for their company in the future. Okay. And I guess if you embrace the DEI and push the propaganda narrative forward, the only thing you're going to realize is this thing called reality that smacks you right in the face. Smash JT. Hit that subscribe, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com for the full article talking about the ultimate destruction of Ubisoft proper, thanks to Damn. these two DEI-injected-fueled nightmare of games that nobody wants. Ubisoft's upcoming game, Assassin's Creed Shadows, is facing hysterically paltry low numbers in the lead-up to their release. According to Stuttering whoa, Craig, friend whoa. of the channel from Side Scrollers Podcast, the game whoa. has garnered less than 800 pre-orders from what he calls a high-traffic game store that's a Eight hundred pre-orders. Eight hundred pre-orders. Guys, let's make sure. First of all, let's let's make sure to not go over twenty-seven likes. But if somehow we do, please let's not get more than eight hundred likes on the video. Like I don't want. Like they've been done getting done dirty, man. Ubisoft getting done dirty, bruh. Major national retail chain boasting over 900 stores. And if you do quick math, that's less than one pre order per store. Grums on Twitter said, I'm told a massive amount of keys went out to streamers yesterday and today. It's working. Star Wars Outlaws at 112,000 viewers right now on Twitch, likely mm. all part of one of Ubisoft's most expensive marketing campaigns. Yeah. But the fallout from people actually playing it. I, I mean, these seconds were the same people, right? Like uh, Ubisoft, I'm talking about, right? These seconds uh, did send out their influencers to Disneyland's right in California Disney World or Disneyland I'm not sure which one is in California which one is in Florida I don't know okay I'm not in the States okay but but yeah like so these things send them at Disneyland in California because the game was really really dog water so they wanted them to like it be in a good mindset to play their game because they knew like if people and youtubers play their games directly they're just gonna fall asleep so they had to send them out to Disneyland let them be on sugar and you know just booming and all that like let let them like work out their body a little bit let them just move a little bit so they're they're awake while playing the game so yeah they did send them out and now they're sending them free keys as well well love to hear that has been anything but positive Stutter and Craig said, I have an insider who works for high traffic game stores in one of the most populated places in the US. They have 27 stores in that area and there have been a total of 41 pre-orders for Star Wars Outlaws. 41. He quote tweeted himself stating, my insider told me that as of this morning at their nationwide big box chain, Assassin's Creed Shadows has less than 800 pre-orders combined for Xbox and PS5 company wide. They have over 900 stores. That is less than one pre-order per store. Yikes. And honestly, that's really the only word. I, I don't know, man. Like, listen, I know this. the news is memes worthy. Absolutely it is, okay? It is memes worthy, but I don't know if I believe that, though. Y you feel what I'm saying? Like, li listen, I hope it's true, though. I, I hope it's true. We gamers, we deserve better. As a brown man, I'm demanding better games. As a brown man, I demand PlayStation 5 and Xbox Online to be free. 
because we're paying for these games we're paying for the consoles we're already paying for our internet our generation our future generation deserve free online our future generation deserves the luxury of playing online for free no longer as a brown man i demand this to be a reality effective immediately like the video if you agree just like if you love buying the, the the online and to to play online if you if you love to pay for online to play games that should be free you feel what i'm saying like i want to know where you at but dustborn 27 damn let me actually check like the concord situation right let me let me actually go ahead and like let's uh, let's do it on the spot 126 okay so 126 players are definitely more than dustborn so that's actually very very good that's very good yeah man like <laughs> yeah let's okay roll it or Wait to for describe it. the situation that ubisoft has put themselves in with these massive quadruple a games that are coming out of this company that clearly <laughs> no gamers want this is bad for ubisoft Toxic real bad. it points to a serious lack of any consumer interest whatsoever and what they had been telling their shareholders were highly anticipated blockbuster additions to their franchises especially Especially when it comes to Assassin's Creed. I expect the Shadows to be the most ambitious title of the series and should do very well through the busy season. Okay, so um, when you talk about uh, it being the most ambitious, are you hoping for it to be the best-selling Assassin's Creed game? Is that how I can read those, that commentary? Could you talk about pre-orders for both Outlaws and, and Shadows and how they compare to previous titles? So in terms of, um, 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 we, um, uh, um, we don't disclose nor comment uh, pre-orders, pre -orders. what we can say is that uh, what we've been observing and measuring uh, is that uh, our two uh, big titles actually are indeed uh, among the most awaited uh, games of the of the industry and they uh, enjoy a very strong positive community. Stop the cap! For context, this was said during an investor call by Ubisoft. So this is Eve Gilmore, if I'm not mistaken. So the CEO of Ubisoft, right? He says that it's a very strong positive community sentiment overall. Okay, les tabernacles. Ah ouais, c'est les gens en train d'aimer notre game là. Et s'ils n'aiment pas, je vais péter leurs dents, ok? I will pet leurs dents, ok? Which means I will break their teeth, ok? So Carlis, uh, that's what uh, he was uh, trying to say, that people love it, gamers love it. Very strong, positive community sentiment overall. Wow! <laughs> I mean, I don't know about this one, man. Like, I don't think it's a very positive sign when you got Sigas just uh, clowning on your game right now. You got the homie Asman Gold just laughing. He was trying to do try not to laugh videos based off of your game. That is crazy, man. Community sentiment overall. Jared Shapiro on Twitter said, first one since AC Origins, I'm not touching on day one. And Bumble I've seen God. this echoed throughout all of Bumble social media God. where people, even in my personal life, big time fans of Assassin's Creed are like, I'm gonna actually sit this one out. You know, there's a lot of other games to be playing. There's a lot of controversy surrounding this one. It seems a little suspect that they injected Yasuke as Black Samurai in a game where Feudal Japan just seems I don't know, a little out of place, and gamers aren't stupid. As much as these companies think they are, we're not. We actually pay attention to what's going on, and people are waking up to this DEI injection that seems to be going on in, like, every major... Man, stop hitting on the Captain BBC Samurai, man. Like, damn, man, like... It, it, oh, my bad, it's not a ca Captain BBC Samurai, it's Captain Gay BBC Samurai! <laughs> yeah, BBC Samurai goes gay, so they, they turn... Damn, that's wild, right? Uh, and we talked about it a billion times already. I said it before, if... Yasuke, he was a real person though. They put him in feudal Japan and they made him gay though. If he was gay in real life, then totally would have made sense. He was not even gay in real life and they still made him gay in, in, in the game, bro. So it's not like BBC Samurai, it's Captain Gay BBC Samurai. Desert, uh, yeah, like that's uh, that's what, 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 what they did, bro. Your release. For example, taking a look at the digital platforms is not any better. On the PlayStation Store currently, we have Star Wars Outlaws in the top 10 games in your country weighing in at number seven out of ten just ahead of grand theft auto 5 a game that is over a decade old i guess ubisoft is beating out gta 5 for the release of a major property that supposedly has a gigantic fan base yikes i'd argue it also doesn't help to see that star wars all-time fandom seems to be at an all-time low right now with the cancellation of the acolyte and how disney seems to have mishandled the entire star wars property and all i gotta say is that get will go bro seconds yeah, man, like, these like, is crazy, man. Like, these like, is always using LGTV people as shields, black people as shields, always make them black and gay, man. Always, they always do that. Whenever you see a black person in game and in movies nowadays, probably gay. You know, they do that all the time with, uh, uh, to the black people out there, man. It's, it's crazy, man. It's disgusting what they're doing, bro. They always do that. And on top, this is a feudal Japan setting, so people wanted like a japanese samurai a japanese uh, protagonist because yeah the game is set in japan right so like duh uh, and they do that crap they add yasuke 
And, and ultimately, they also make him gay. <laughs> and and the female chick, they they made up made her gay as well. So both of the characters like that. Damn, bro. Like we're talking feudal Japan. Like that don't even make sense, bro. Like that don't even make sense. In its own right, it seems like the perfect storm of just all these bad things coming together at the time where Ubisoft is releasing what looks to be a DEI injected mess of a game. And CryAlexa tagged me on Twitter stating they're even giving this game away for people who purchased Nvidia graphics cards. They are giving the Bruh. game away. They want anyone Who's anyone to just play this game? They're just begging people to do it. Although I can't rag on it too much because Black Myth Wukong was the game they did previously. But still, the irony in Ubisoft giving away a game, trying to get more people playing it, is definitely not going unnoticed. But this hasn't stopped good old Kotaku troll extraordinaire from chiming in. Alyssa Mercante just couldn't help herself from hurling attacks at Craig with his insights that he was giving to the community. Out of the kindness of his heart, knowing people in the industry and just sharing that out with people triggered Alyssa. Old Man Grim on Twitter posted, Alyssa Mercante, help me, lawyer man. The evil chuds are harassing me. Also, Alyssa Mercante. Also, Asylum. Oh, man. Oh, bro. Dude, this guy looks like Jobless Garrett, right? You, you remember Jobless Garrett? He used to be... I'm not sure what he, where he's up to or what he's up to, man. But he used to be like GTA 5 YouTuber back in the days, right? Jobless Garrett, you guys know him? Like, he looks like him. Damn! Responding to Craig stating, My insider told me that, as of several years ago, you're a little bitch baby. Yeah, this is the very same Alyssa Mercante that's going after Kiwi Farms and threatening other YouTubers like myself for daring to talk about her in a negative light. She doesn't seem to have a- It's for rules- it's rules for the- but not for me. Rules apply only to you, but not for me. That's what uh, Alyssa Mercante is uh, trying to pull out here. She calling everybody like names, this and that, right? She goes crazy at everybody. But then she's like, oh man, gamers are toxic, bro. <laughs> gamers are toxic. What? You are the one going crazy right now, bro. What the hell? But I do agree though. Some gamers are toxic though. I, I do agree though. Let's let's not even sugarcoat it though. Let's not even sugarcoat it. But generally speaking, gamers just want a good game. That's it, right? That's it. You guys turn around and call us toxic. And then gamers are gamers that that's when gamers become a little bit toxic. I mean some of them, let's not sugarcoat it. Some of them do send them heaven proposals. Guys, don't be sending heaven proposals, man. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, there are some few bad apples though. There are few bad apples. But generally speaking, gamers just want a good game, bruh. They just want a good game. And it's you suckers who call gamers toxic, manipulative, menace to society, all that bull squash, bro. A problem going around bro. attacking others, but God forbid you put a Get mirror on, to her. Bro. But regardless, these reports from Stutter and Craig show a insanely low amount of pre-order numbers for Assassin's Creed Shadows. It's a clear indicator for the challenges that Ubisoft is about to be facing. Their investors have been promised that this game is very excited and the entire gaming community is just waiting on bated breath to be able to play this game. And my sentiment that I'm seeing out there on social media and in person with people that play Assassin's Creed in my own life are saying, yeah, no, this is not a game that we're interested in. Don't know how else to say it, no matter how many times you tell your shareholders that everyone's excited about it, the reality is, it's anything but that. Ubisoft is going to need to reevaluate their strategies and kick the DEI injection games out of their studios. Okay, I'm not sure if this is like real footage or not, but earlier in the video when we saw like the Japanese homie that he put, you know the Japanese guy that he put earlier on, that was I believe part of uh, one guy from the government. And, and yeah, a couple of weeks ago we did hear that the Japanese government is uh, investigating this because they caught Thomas Lockley making stuff up about Yasuke. Thomas Lockley is the guy that made stuff up about Yasuke being a samurai when he was not, is what we learned. This is not my opinion, this is what we're hearing, right? And then a lot of Japanese people are, you know, Jap even some Japanese YouTubers talked about it and they brought in receipts and there was one Japanese YouTuber that we reacted to and that we used as a source because he was using the original Japanese text uh, as a source where uh, to show the fact that he was not a samurai, right? So we heard that uh, and Thomas Lockley got caught faking all that and uh, ultimately put Ubisoft made this game based off of Wikipedia as a source um, and they made him samurai in the game. So there's a whole lot of that. They also made him gay as well. So there's crazy stuff going around and then we heard that the officials over at Japan, in Japan, uh, they are investigating this and they're saying that once the game comes out that's when they're gonna be able to investigate it a little further. Totally makes sense because right now they're hearing this news online, they're seeing what Ubisoft is doing to destroy their culture and, and when the game comes out they're gonna be able to see like, <laughs> you know what exactly, they're gonna get more context and depending upon that they will do what they might do, right? Uh, yeah, that's basically what we heard. So, but but I'm not sure if this video, this video, is this footage is from that or not.
Close, but I wouldn't hold my breath. This is the same company that used to employ Kim Belair, the same person who founded Sweet Baby Inc., used Damn. to work at Ubisoft, which is a company Crazy. known for inclusivity and trying to push that propaganda in all their games and at the workplace. It's not something that you just wake up one day and say, okay, we're not going to do that anymore here, when it's been ingrained culturally at your workspace. Which yeah. is kind of U Ubisoft is nothing but white liberal women, and I got no issue with them, but it's just that... The, these women, white liberal women, they, they're trying to destroy gaming, they want to destroy everything, everything they touch, it just becomes trash, becomes shiza, you know what I'm saying? Cannot say the word in English here, because YouTube don't like it when you say shiza uh, word in English, okay? But yeah, it's the liberal women that are destroying everything that, that men loves, essentially. It's gaming is a hobby, like a lot of people love games, right? But it's just that everything they touch, they, they want to destroy, they, I mean... They, before even touching it, as soon as they lay their eyes on it, it's just over. It's Joe over at that point. Kind of the problem, if they don't change soon, it will consume them and ultimately destroy them. The gamers have spoken. They've had enough of this garbage, politically correct approach from these companies. The only problem is, it might be too late for Ubisoft to bother even listening. And mm -hmm. ultimately, mm -hmm. what they're gonna do is blame the gamers because it's always our fault, even though we are telling you straight up, leading up to these releases, that this is not what we want. In fact, it's not even in the realm, it's not on the same planet, not in the same galaxy of the games that we actually want to play. Look around to see what's successful out there, and it's pretty clear exactly what the gamers want. But then again, it almost feels like these companies aren't going for sales. It looks like they're trying to aim to hit some checkboxes to get yeah. investment dollars from BlackRock and Vanguard because at the end of the day, that's where the real money is. Yeah, but I want to show you guys this, okay? Shout out to the homie Dr. Disaster just for a little bit. Ubisoft Panic Time pre-sale numbers for Star Wars Outlaws are clearly not good. Okay, so even Star Wars, go ahead. <laughs> now that Star Wars Outlaws has released today, I am pleased to inform you that I have some live video feed of some Ubisoft investors showcasing their enthusiasm to invest more into this company. What is this? The, the, investors investors the, money. If the game were doing well with their pre sales numbers. You just know that Ubisoft would be bragging about Star Wars yeah. Outlaws by now yeah. in an attempt to drum up interest among Damn. the investors. But not only have we heard no Oh man, their stock just plummeted like crazy. It just keeps on going down. And no matter what they tell to the investors, yeah, like there's positive sentiment in the community. Gamers love our games. Right, no matter what, how much they say that, the investors are not buying the bull squash. They're seeing, like, <laughs> they're probably seeing all the, the fans complaints. They're probably seeing, like, people go crazy. The sale numbers being going down. The sale numbers uh, go down, right? And they're like, hey, we're not going to invest in Ubisoft. So they're losing money hand over mouth right now. They're losing money big time. But gamers not buying their games. Investors not investing. I guess they must be getting funded by BlackRock and Vanguard to be able to recoup that money up somehow somehow or may but if they're not then that's wild though i wouldn't be shocked if they if they keep going like that i wouldn't be shocked one day they them shutting down too guys like if they keep on going like that because you guys gotta you guys gotta understand that gamers calling them out gamers not buying their bull squash they're not buying their games and on top investors pulling out their money not investing their stocks go down they're losing money like crazy but it's crazy right now so if they're not getting funded by vanguard blackrock it's over for them sooner or later nothing but crickets out of Ubisoft thus far. Rumor has it that the sister game of Star Wars Outlaws, Assassin's yeah. Creed Shadows, they are having piss poor pre-sales numbers as well. It's almost as if making games for the ever elusive modern audience <laughs> isn't very profitable because whenever they do it, they see the sales numbers trickle in and they have to ask, where are they? And it doesn't matter how many times they lash out at us, the gamers, the people who are supposed to be their customers, it won't magically produce this modern audience that okay, they see from is Dr. Disaster one, 1. But anyway, like I said earlier, if Star Wars Outlaws numbers were good, you just know that we'd be hearing about it by now. You know they'd be bragging about the numbers if they weren't embarrassing. Just look at Stellar Blade from earlier this year as an example. They were constantly talking about how they were the number one most yeah. ordered game on PlayStation Store for the weeks leading up to the release. And they were very- well, I'm certain that the numbers are down, but how- down are they we're hearing that uh assassin's creed situation right like this uh, bbc samurai situation pre-order numbers are like 800 <laughs> 800 across 900 stores <laughs> which equates to one pre-order not even one pre-order per store absolutely wild if true i'm still gonna say if true uh, because it's hard to believe it though i hope it's real because you know this will send them a clear s a signal of what the gamers want right but still I, I i don't know if it's real or not but in terms of star wars i don't know like uh yeah so far nobody's boasting about it that it's selling like crazy so i do believe that it's not 
selling like too crazy but what still but still like what are the, the the units what are the the sales number right now open about the fact that they had sold a million copies of course this led to shift up the studio that made stellar blade to go public and the owners of the company made a shitload of money because investors were enticed by these transparent and awesome numbers contrast that to what we got going on here with star wars outlaws and assassin's creed shadows neither of these games will be on steam so we can track their player counts yeah ubisoft prefers to operate in darkness so that they aren't opening themselves up to embarrassment of course if this game was on on steam bro you know we would be getting numbers like that i, I guess for games like concord those dustbin or my bad uh dustborn game right yeah those games gotta release on steam because steam is the biggest platform out there right they probably don't have their own platform so they got to release it on the steam right and and by doing so well <laughs> we get the numbers we get to see the numbers and of course everybody's clowning on them for right reasons for right rightfully so rightfully they're so. also trying to entice people into subscribing to their very shitty ubisoft subscription service but really the thing is they just like to operate in darkness that's what i'm convinced of they will only tell us the numbers if those numbers are something the company can spin but they have been silent thus far and that silence is deafening meanwhile we are hearing that the pre-sales for assassin's creed shadows are abysmal stuttering craig tweeted this he said my insider told me that yeah this is something that we just uh, talked about guys check out this video on the screen this recently just went down man we have some news coming out about ps5 pro and new gta 6 gameplay leaks and the situation is really really wild out there check out this video on the screen if you already seen it then check out the video on the left